today on Black Pony Mania Shooting. It's 50 degrees out here two days after Christmas 2020. I can't believe my luck. And a viewer suggested I try the two ball trick in the smooth war gun that I tried in the rifled guns a few months ago. If you're interested in seeing that one, look right up here and I'll send you the link to it. Otherwise, let's get down here and burn some powder double ball smooth bore style. I can't wait to try this. This ought to be pretty cool. So what I plan on doing is putting different powder loads in it and see if shooting two balls out of this gun will make the pattern spread wider, maybe go vertical. Who knows? That's why I set the big piece of card up, board up down there. And we're probably 25 yards from it today. Let's go with 60 grains. That's about 60, just a good guess. In this case, I'm going to put two 0.600 round balls. Two of them there. There's number one. One with them. And we're going to take number two and just go doop, drop it right down on top of there. Do it like that to keep it safe so the ball doesn't roll out on me. I'll just stick another patch right down on top of it just so that it won't roll away. We're going to prime it up with a little bit of uh, Swiss Snow B and pound that cardboard in it and see what the spread pattern is with 60 grains of shoots in before we get started, I want to remind everybody, ear and eye protection is strongly recommended. What well, sounded good. Let's go down and check it out and see what it looks like. Right there. Right there. Let's just put a one between them. Make it look like a funky looking set of eyeglasses. Let's go down and put uh, maybe 90 grains in it with the same setup and see if it makes it tighter, wider, or whatever. Number two, aim it a little bit more to the left this time, Mark, so you won't get in the way of the other holes and see what it looks like. Yeah. Woo, boy, that kicked hard with that 90 grains and two balls in there. Got a little bit different angle, but the spread's about the same distance. Yep. It's about the width of that Sharpie marker on the gray part. Let's see, uh, how can we load this up again? Let's try muzzle material, see if that makes any difference. It's a lot thinner. Maybe to make it go crazier or truer. Let's see what happens. Let's try the 60 grains again. Uh, shoot in this one. What I'm going to use is some of this really thin muzzle material. I've, I've cut this up mostly for the uh, pistols that I use makes them easier to load. But let's try it on this and see how this works. Got a 600 round ball down in there. You know it's going to be much easier to push it down, which it is. Using that Mr. Flintlock lube makes it really nice. And we'll get a second round ball in there. It's this one here. It's kind of all chewed up a little bit from a pouring, but I don't care. Let's Oh, you hear it drop? Put right that in there. Add your material on it. Just to keep it in place. See that? Go down in that little pan like that. Wipe that little frizzing off so it'll work. Sounded awful funny. <laughs> Let's go see what the spread looks like. Why would you look at that? What a difference! My goodness, that spread's touching each other. Let me get that camera up and show you a little bit closer. Look at that spread, man. The two balls are almost touching each other. Wow. Let's load this thing up with 90 grains of shoots in and put a piece of that uh, muzzle material in there and see what happens. 90 grains of shoots in. 2F, clear to the top. Pour it all down in there. Set that 
around top and put one of those 600 round balls in there, 600 balls in there. Oh, that thing loads so easy. And hear that second one go? Listen. Oh, <laughs> right to the bottom. That makes it kind of safe so nothing will roll out and then shoot it. Let's go a little bit more to the left and see what happens with this one. I can't show you the shots from the other camera and sit down in the battery coil on it. <laughs> Probably about three inches apart. So basically, if you want to shoot hogs, put 60 grains that shoots a 2F in this smooth bore. And if you're 25 to 40 yards away, smack him with it. I think it'll take him down. Yeah, I know I got sticks and everything in the way, but I wanted to lay this on a branch here and shoot it from a distance because I probably won't hit it otherwise. Let's see what kind of distance it makes on this one. I have no idea where it hits. Let's go look at it together. Oh, look how wide that is now to get a little closer. Very interesting. Let's get I don't know, eight inches, seven or eight inches spread. Looks like I'm grouping all over this place. Let's try this thing one more time with 90 grains in it and pillow ticking and see what it looks like. Man, that sounded awful good. Don't have a clue where it hit. So let's go over there and find out. What a difference that makes, look at that. Sixty to ninety grains isn't that much difference that far away, except for probably punch power. So let's kind of recap. There was shot number one. Pellet taking sixty grains, two round balls. Same thing, only with ninety grains in it. Number three was very interesting. Sixty grains, two round balls, and a little bit of that muslin material. Here's the same thing with the muzzle material at 90 grains, but a bit further distance. It spread apart a little bit, but I went back about 40 yards to shoot it with 60 grains of shoots in 2F. And number six, which I didn't put any numbers on it, we'll back up a little bit here, is 90 grains of shoots in 2F and pill ticking. So it looks like any way you slice it up, the smooth bore, with a double ball load, especially a .600 ball is what I'm using today, is a lethal load if you're out shooting hogs in Texas or deer in eastern Kentucky or any other kind of critter up close. It proves it is worth its weight in gold. Thanks for watching and we'll definitely catch you on the next adventure.